Welcome, I'm Joshua Delisle, the designer blacksmith. So what I have here, Viva has let me review one of their mag drills. They've got quite a decent selection of mag drills and if you're interested in buying one, there are excellent discounts in the description below. So do check it out. So this specific one that I've got here has got a height travel of 125 millimeters. It came with this big selection of rotary brooches and also a cutting fluid dispenser. Now, I'm not gonna be using this because the moment I wanna use it, say on its side, as it magnetizes to a girder, let's say, all your studs are gonna fall out. So to save me the hassle of putting this on and off, I just simply don't use it, but you might want to. Now we've got a range of rotary brooches here or core drills that go from 13 mil to 27 mil. And this is probably worth about hundred quid in itself. Each one of these is on average about 13 pounds but they're excellent as you'll see and they last quite a long time and you can get them resharpened by a local company. Additionally to these, I also bought with my own money a drill chuck. That way I can use this like a regular drill with lots of different drill bits. And I'm also gonna set this up so I can use it like a pillar drill. But let's get started. So let's run through a good example on using this. Now what I want to install on my table here is my old miracle bender for a job that I've got to do. So it's got some big bolts that it needs to go into the steel with. Uh, so I've already center punched and marked. Let's run through on how to operate it. So there's my uh, center punch mark there. So what I do is I'll bring it over and lower, lower the bit down. And what I'm gonna do is index it with the pin here. And the pin is sprung loaded, see that? Now we can turn on the electromagnet. Just give it a double check, seeing the tip of the point is in the center of the hole and that it hasn't moved. Make sure you've either got fluids coming through and then it's doing a nice drip. I like to be able to see what I'm doing first, which is why I haven't got it installed. So I'm just gonna give it a spray of some cutting fluid. Well, it's quite loud, so I like to put in my uh, hearing protection. Now we can turn on the drill. So a mag drill is more commonly used for drilling holes through ugh, RSJs like this one. So again, what we do here is we lift it up. It's a little bit awkward, I must admit. Find where your magnet button is there. So that's on and off. All right. Now, normally you'd have like a safety rope and harness. This actually did come with a safety rope, but it wasn't very good. You'd be better off to get some sort of webbing strap. That would be much better. But it's not too heavy, it's actually very lightweight compared to ones that I've had in the past. So align it to where you'd like it to go. This is a piece of scrap, so I'm not gonna worry too much. Somewhere there. There we go, switch that on. So apparently this has 12,000 newtons of lifting force, which is excellent, it's very strong. And in fact, I've had it to the table and tried to lift it off myself and I just can't do it. So Maybe in a minute I'll find somewhere where I can see if I can hang my entire body weight on it, shall we? So like normal, I've got my eye protection and uh, ear protection going on. Now I might as well mention the feature that I don't like about this and we'll have a look at this in a minute to see if we can modify it. But I can turn this on now, but I can also turn it on without the magnet and I think that's quite dangerous. Now the ones that I've used before, they would not allow you to turn on the drill unless the magnet was turned on also. You can imagine if you've got it all the way up in the air above your head, I mean, yes, it should be strapped as well anyway, but if you pressed the magnet off by accident instead of the drill bit off, well, it's gonna land on your head. So it helps that you've got that little bit of safety when holding it above your head like that, I think, so I might make a little modification. But anyway, let's uh, just drill through this. We've got the 27 mil, which is the largest bit that it came with. There we go, perfect. Make sure I've got the weight. 
So it's not its intended purpose, but you can also use the electromagnet to uh, tidy everything up as well after. So here we go, making sure I don't suddenly hit the table. <laughs> there we go, and now I can put that in the bin just by a single flick. Simple as that. Right, so to use it like a regular drill, we just need to put on the regular chuck. Now, unfortunately, it did not come with any tools, which is a little bit annoying, but it's just, you should have a, an Allen key set anyway, really. As far as I can tell, that's a number five Allen key, five mil. There we are. Now that is on its maximum height. So you can see, you're not gonna get much of a drill bit under there. So the only way to use it is to use it off the edge of a table, maybe. Now you can get the full height of 125 millimeters. Now I've done it before where I've just clamped a piece of box section to the table and this has gone on top of it there like so. So then I can get to all the drilling work that I need to do. Uh, to make it more simple and a bit more convenient, I'm just gonna build a mini uh, drilling plate that is height adjustable just on the edge of my bench here. So I'm genuinely pleased with this and I'm glad to have it as part of my tool collection. And I think for 150 quid, that's really good. This set was 250 quid just because it had all the bits and stuff to come with it. Now the brooches themselves are absolutely fine, but you could buy the cheaper drill and then buy the top of the range brooches to go with it. That makes a lot of sense. You just need to know a couple of things with this one. It's got a fixed speed, so there's no variable speed. You've got to be really careful with that switch. That can potentially be dangerous. It isn't that difficult to rewire. I have had a look inside it. Uh, I haven't got the time to do that right now. I'll be making a better strap for it, but you know what it's like. You probably won't even use a strap either. But it's definitely got the power. It's definitely portable. It packs away easily enough. So for my long-term subscribers, you will notice that I'm getting more and more free bits of kit from some sponsors. Now they are paving the way to some very serious and interesting videos that I want to create. But to be fair, I get to play with some nice bits of kit that I would have worried about spending my money on anyway. Now what I'm planning on doing is getting back into doing some really good forge work that I can show you guys all the step-by-step -step process of doing it. That's something which I know a lot of you would wish to see again. But as you can imagine, this is a small business, very small channel, and I've got to do whatever pays the bills. But we're entering to new ground, new territory, and your thoughts and opinion are cherished by me. I want to hear them. And if you think I'm going down the wrong path, just say so, because I've got the doubts in myself. A mag drill is something that I've always wanted. It's got its flaws, but for the price, I'm willing to let those go. Anyway, if you've stayed watching this long, what are you still doing here? Get out there and forge a life worth living. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.